I play um, Tom, and I'm not very sure of his last name yet. It keeps changing. Um, and Tom is a recovering alcoholic sometimes. Sometimes he's recovering. Sometimes he falls over and gets plastered. Um, who really can't maintain a relationship or never could really maintain a relationship. Um, sometimes people might think he's incapable of loving, that Tom can't love anyone. But that's not true, because I know how the movie ends. Um, and, you know, he, he meets this guy, uh, Eli, who is incredibly cute and funny and just just would be perfect for Tom. And he's, he's, you know, he's stuck in this position of, should he do the thing, and should he jump in? You know, should he, he jump in with both feet and, and, and continue finding love, which he thinks is impossible? And uh, it scares him along the way. Well, you know, I, I like the role of Tom because he, he wasn't the stereotypical gay guy. You know, this was a, you know, a beer drinking, t-shirt wearing, uh, you know, I'm in the tux right now. Um, he was, uh, you know, just a, just a kind of a, a, a slob that n no stereotypes attached to him whatsoever, and uh, it was it was a, it was a nice love story, you know. It was like a Harry Met Sally when Harry Met Sally thing. Uh, when when he writes, he doesn't write just because he put himself in the starring role, which is always a little weird for a writer because then you read it and you're like, oh no. He's just gonna, it's gonna be the, you know, the wonder role for the writer. And uh, when I read it and I started reading it, I realized that he writes very, he doesn't write just for himself. He, he's really more concerned with, with the whole, you know, the whole, the whole script itself, which I think is, is, is really great. And he's sometimes in the script, he's the brunt of the joke and, and he doesn't always have the punchline. And there was a really good joke in the script and he gave it to me and actually you wound up back with it though which is you the can have it back if you want no i don't but the, just that just that he gave it to me and didn't even think about oh uh, you know he's just very selfless is that the word very selfless writer he just thinks about the whole thing you know who did that sonny bono i get that a lot do you get sonny bono okay this is the guys on all right i don't want to be here there for was this. not one person who uh, literally the room was electric when he left the room it was like okay that guy that's it that is so obviously the one and, and everybody agreed and then we had this meeting with all the nine producers and we showed four different candidates for the part of Tom and for the first time ever all nine people went around in a circle and said who their choice was and it was like it's obvious it's got to be it's rich it's, it's got to be rich and when we played the scenes together we had never met i had no idea who rich was didn't look at his resume didn't literally there was just con there was an instant chemistry rapport my heart was pounding. I was like, that's the one. We have to hire him right now. We have to hire him right now. Because I was so, I, I, I felt, as the writer, I felt like, okay, that's the guy. He nailed it. And nobody else came close. And I was nervous. I was like, what if all the other producers don't agree with me? But I felt it instantly. Richard's incredible. He came in and auditioned and uh, just blew us all away within four words. Didn't even complete a sentence, and he was just that. He was it. He had the he had the complexity of the character of Tom, but he was also very sensitive and likable, and that was a really hard combination to find, which was someone who was really troubled and really confused and almost a little dangerous, but who was also just completely lovable at the same time, and he, he just had it. Until the first day. And Sasha's great. She's really... Uh...